Question eight was surprisingly tricky and it involved uh, use of the average value formula. Now, I haven't seen this sort of question in, in the study design. I'm pretty surprised to see it. I'll take you through my solution. If someone has a far quicker, clever solution, just post in the comments, but I'll show you how I arrived at the answer. So we're given some function, which is defined over this interval, and we're given some key information. We're told that the average value from here to here is zero. We know the area of this region, and we know that this is a straight line. There are a few things you can infer from this. Well, we've got the point P comma P here. That implies that this line here can be written as Y equals X. Because if it's a straight line, when we sub in P, we have to get P back. So the only equation that satisfies that is Y equals X. So this here is Y equals X. This part here feels like a parabola, but we can't assume anything because we haven't been told exactly what it is but we have been shown the area. So the way to, one way to approach this is to find the average value of this section first. And the way we do that is we take the integral from negative two to zero of our function f of x dx, and we're, we've got to put a coefficient out the front which is from negative two to zero, or b minus a. So we've got b minus a there, so that becomes half out the front. Now we're told the value of this bit, we're told that the area of the shaded region is 25 on eight. So we know the value of this bit, we just have to put a negative sign there because we want to make sure that integral gives a negative value because we're under the curve. So we get negative a half times 25 on eight, which is negative 25 on 16. So that's the average value there. The average value here is from zero to P, because we're going from zero to P, one over, we want to do B minus A just as we did over here, so that becomes 1 over p just there. And then what we want to do is integrate over this section here, over that line. So what we get is x squared on 2, and we have a 1 on p out the front here. So that gives us one on P times P squared on two, which equals P on two. So the average value of the function for this section is P on two. The average value of the function for this section is negative 25 on 16. How do you combine these two? We need to combine them because we know the average value over the entire interval is zero. You might think you could add them, or you could add them and divide by two, something like that. The correct way to do it is to take the average value over this interval, which is negative 25 on 16, and multiply it by the length of the interval, which is two units. This interval runs for two units. So you need to multiply it by the length of the interval. Then it's the same for the other one. You take the average value over the interval and you multiply by the length of the interval, which is P units. So that gives us negative 25 over eight plus P squared on two equals zero. And we can solve for P now. We know that P squared on two equals 25 on eight so p squared equals 25 on four. We multiply both sides by two. So p 
is 5 on 2. Notice that P cannot be negative, so we can reject the negative root, and our answer is 5 on 2. So the answer is D. Now, I haven't seen anything like that on the study design, and I'm hoping, I'm, I'm almost certain someone out there has a faster and better way to work that out. If you do, please post in the comments, but the answer is D.